Hello everyone! On our channel we often talk about different malicious processes, viruses, which can run in the background and show no activity visually, but nevertheless they make harm uh, collect various information and send it to their services and it's almost impossible to track this activity without special software. That is why today I'm going to talk about a useful application called Glasswire. It is essentially a cybersecurity application that focuses on monitoring your network and has a built-in firewall that is more reliable than the default Windows one. It's a fairly new service in the competitive Defender environment, but it has since earned a reputation as one of the most reliable services out there. It works properly in Windows 7, 8, 10 and Android and has constant updates to keep it running along with the latest software patches from Microsoft. Its endpoint monitoring shows uh, accurate reports and usage is fairly straightforward. Glasswire has extensive functionality to get the most information about traffic consumption, block inbound, outbound connections, view real time and historical statistics, and much more. My name is Still Martin, you're on the IT Reviews channel. Don't forget to give likes, write comments, because it helps YouTube algorithms to promote our videos. So let's get started. Glasswire is basically an endpoint monitoring program with a firewall that can quickly detect threats. Immediately after installation, Glasswire automatically activates showing you a real-time network activity on a bright and colorful traffic graph. If you find a spike in the graph, you can hover over it and it will show you detailed information about the host of programs that were involved uh, that caused the increase in network activity. It also notifies you when a program has started a network. Although at first these notifications may seem like they come up often, they eventually go away since the system is already used to the Glasswire app. However, if you certainly don't want any firewall notifications, you can always disable them through the settings. Glasswire also includes a network time machine that allows you to see how much network activity was used while you were not working on your keyboard or if you left your PC Either. If you ever find a suspicious spike in network activity, you can always click on it and view the history. You will always be able to zoom in to see specific individual activities in that network burst cluster. You can also choose uh, not to log network activity in incognito mode in the menu tab. Brief description of features. The application grabs network activity and the items that trigger it, inbound and outbound requests. With GlassY, you can detect spyware, malware, and programs with potentially unwanted behavior. Accordingly, such software can be blocked. GlassY will also inform you about changes in the network configuration, which may be made by uh, processes, and this is a nice feature because without the GlassY software, you would not notice any changes to the network configuration and this would be very unpleasant. Additionally, with Glasswire you can add other computers that are connected to your network, so that you can monitor your network activity, see what devices are connected to them, who is connected to your Wi-Fi network and so on. Another feature of Glasswire is tracing traffic, that is you can see what applications are accessing the network, if it is a browser for example, you can see their host sites and even indicate the type of traffic via HTTP or SSL secured. If necessary, you can specify it in the settings that any new connection is made only with your permission. That is, until you click on the button that pops up in the notification, the application will not be able to connect to the network. In addition, you can create different firewall profiles, such as home use, use of public Wi-Fi networks for work, in case you use the laptop in different locations. And in fact, there is an application for mobile devices with uh, Android. Well, now let's move on to an overview of the application itself, Graph. After launching the application, we immediately find ourselves in the Graph tab where we can see in real time the incoming and outgoing traffic. In the upper right corner, we see the time range of the application. The 5 minutes is the default settings, but if you have been using Glasswire for some time, you can choose a longer time frame like 24 hours or a week. This way you can see a picture of previous periods. The graph shows all the notifications you have received. Click on this item and you will see all notifications. This one indicates a connection interruption message. This one indicates access to the internet. 
The blue icon indicates the virus total antivirus check online. We see that Microsoft Office has been scanned this utility and the green bar indicates that there are no threats. That is, 67 antivirus databases were used and zero threats were found. Clicking on the info icon will launch the VirusTotal website and we can see the results of the scan. Let's first shed some light on the antivirus scanner. Glasswell calls it the VirusTotal program. It's not technically antivirus software, but it does help thoroughly identify suspicious applications and programs that might be storing or creating malware on your computer or server. VirusTotal will check any network applications or processes for malware and report its assessment in the GlassWire user interface. Although if you prefer to only check files manually, you can always disable GlassWire's automatic scanner, although there is no problem with the automatic mode anyway. You can also filter the mappings on the graph. By default, all is selected, you can make it show only apps, here we see a list of applications traffic which shows the type of traffic the number of megabytes downloaded and publishers which show the name of the publisher usage let's go to the usage tab the essence here is basically the same as in graph where you can uh, view information about hosts applications traffic there is also a filtering by time day week month or set the range manually and additionally you can show the type of network the direction of traffic in this case, it is useful to see, for example, which application is consuming the most traffic. Or maybe there are some processes that we personally do not run, but they use network connection in the background. We can see all this in our list. This is very useful information if you have limited traffic and you need to understand where the megabytes go, which application is downloading or sending something, and you can not only see this information, but you can make specific decisions in GlassWire. Things. The next tab is the Things tab. In this tab, we see that hardware modules are working with the network. When you click on the Things icon, a page opens with a list of all the Internet of Things devices on your network. Initially, you will need to click scan and set it up to periodically scan the network. If you are using the free version, it tells you how many devices it has detected. Glasswire report the name of the device, if available, and therefore the network it is connected to. It tells you when it first detects uh, the device and lists its IP and MAC addresses. Those who know about networking can use the IP and MAC addresses to locate unknown devices and click on them to get an identifying label. It is also possible to see the full network name of connected devices, not just the IP address. For example, the smart TV displayed as uh, viziocasdisplay.atlocal.net. Suppose if you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, this list will display the devices that are trying to connect to your network. You will see the IP, MAC addresses of these devices. If you trust this computer, you can give it a name so that you know it's a trusted connection in the future and don't flinch when you get strange notifications. Let's move on to another important feature, Firewall. It allows you to block network connection for all uh, selected applications. In order to enable Firewall, you need to click on the inscription off in the upper left corner and select one of the blocking modes. Click to block, ask to connect or block all. By default, ask to connect is selected. If you click on info, you see the name, path, version, publisher, virus total shows that it is a safe process. And in the same information window, you can immediately unblock the application. You can hide it from the list or add it to incognito. Incognito gives us the opportunity to exclude the host process application from the monitoring so that it is not detected by the firewall. If you want to hide some network activity so that it does not show up in the GlassWire application. Also, in the information window, we can go to the item alerts and see at what time and what actions were performed with the application. But actually, based on this information, we decide allow or deny. This is how the option ask to connect works. The next option is click to block. Notice the fire icons to the left. Let's say we want to block the Grammarly editor so that it won't connect to the network. We simply click on the fire icon and it turns yellow. As we can see, Grammarly Editor has moved to the Block Apps section. And actually, in the program Grammarly Editor is connected, uh, which means that the application cannot connect to the network. 
removing the icon and the connection is restored. And the last item, block all. Here in principle everything is clear and there is no point in explaining. Based on the graph usage, you can define the processes and applications that consume maximum traffic which work in the background, without your permission and in firewall, you can block them. Note that there is an element, the OS kernel, which is protected from this connection. If you click on it, you can see that blocking the Windows kernel may cause instability of the operating system. In Firewall, you can set up profiles. Click on Create Profile and enter the name of the profile, for example, Home. At work, you will need different settings. Uh, you want a different set of programs to be blocked. So we create another profile, for example, Work make the necessary settings and then just switch between them. Alerts. The last tab is alerts. This will display all the messages in our app concerning primary connection, checking wires total, making changes to the network configuration and so on. Even if the computer is in hibernation mode, less wire will still keep an eye on the network activity. And after waking up, you will see notifications of how many applications have accessed the network. On the right hand side, you can see what applications and processes were accessing the network and then you can go deeper. Glasswire provides a lot of information and no connection will be unnoticed. Let's have a look at the main menu. It's also very useful. You can open the mini graphic and you can see we have a small window with a graph in, uh, in real time. We can see the load, the payload. You can adjust it, double click on the mini chart to open the main application. Themes. Here you can turn on a night neon, asphalt or customize the theme individually. Next mode, snooze alerts. If you turn it on, no notifications from Glassware will be displayed. Mode incognito turns off monitoring for all programs at once. Then there is a link to the mobile version for Android, a forum, help and about program. Settings. Let's take a separate look at the settings menu item. So, general. Here we can enable startup, enable train notifications, enable the administrator password request and other settings. We can also clear the history. Appearance. Here you can choose between the day and the night theme or any of the available templates. Change the text size and change the language. Security. Press the unblock button, there you can choose and see the information and enable the various options related to security. Things. Here we can set the scanning frequency, configure the quality of the scans and select the protocols used. Data plan. This is useful if you have limited traffic. Check the box for the application to notify you when you use a certain amount of traffic. Specify the time period, the start day, the amount, choose the type of traffic. Check the box to exclude local network traffic. If you are working within a network and data is sent between computers within the local network, it will not be counted. Virus total. We advise you to enable both options in this item. Of course, this will provoke additional network activity and increase the amount of traffic, but will protect your PC from potential dangerous applications. Next, we have remote access configuration and the ability to add servers. With GlassY, you have the ability to control not only your computer, but others as well. The server hardware is shown and you can see their network activity. Free and paint versions. Usually anyone would want to use the free version of their premium software. However, this option here is limited. The only reason you would want to use the free version is because you want to test the overall functionality of GlassWire, how it scans for network activity and checks for overuse. But other than that, there is not much else to do since it's nothing more than a demo. As for the paid version, you get everything GlassWire offers from a great firewall to solid advanced features that simplify network management. While GlassWire can be a great lock of all network and internet activity on your server, there is no one-time fee for it. Instead, you will be asked to pay once a month, depending on the plan you choose, from $39 to $100. That's pretty expensive. You can use AVG or the pre-built Windows protection instead, although don't be surprised by the huge amount of missing features compared to GlassWire. GlassWire's load on the system. Let's take a look at the utilities resource consumption. We do it on a Dell Latitude E7450 laptop with a dual-core Intel i5-5300U. 
uh, with the default settings for the application. Opening Task Manager, we see that in the background mode GlassWire doesn't load the CPU at all and it only consumes 40 megabytes of RAM. And the GlassWire control service is running with a CPU load of 0 to 1% and consumes 46 megabytes of RAM. Now let's run our application and see how the numbers change. The GlassWire CPU load increased from 6.9 to 8.1%, the RAM consumption increased to 41.2 megabytes, and GlassWire control service loads CPU like 0.1, 0.9%. RAM usage remained unchanged at 45 megabytes. The application is almost no load on the system, even on an old notebook. Conclusion: GlassWire will be useful for most of the users who are concerned about their security, integrity of their personal data, and want to protect their computer from malicious applications, viruses, and other intruders. This brings our review of GlassWire app to a close. You are on the IT Reviews channel, so don't forget to subscribe, like and click on the bell. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll answer all of them. See you in the next video. Bye!